Congratulations for taking a step toward the reactive programming or Rx Java. And if you're here without watching the introduction, I highly recommend you watch this video where I have discussed what the reactive programming is. To understand this, we are going to use Rx Java as a tool. Namaste everyone. In this video, we are going to help you set up the Rx Java. You can install Rx Java in various different ways, but we are going to use the very simple procedure. And if you face any problem regarding setting up Rx Java, feel free to message me on my social handles. All the links will be in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and screencast my computer. Oh, that's my friend's computer actually because I'm a Linux user and I find it hard to be edit videos there. I'm thinking about screencast on my Linux as well. So let me know in the comments what do you think about these and should I screencast on my Linux or Windows? Okay. Open your favorite browser and search for IntelliJ IDEA and you will find this JetBrains website. Download the software for your operating system. I'm going to download the Ultimate Edition with a 30 day trial period. You can go ahead and install the Community Edition if you want. Ok let's go ahead and install it. Just follow the on screen instruction and you are done. So the IntelliJ IDEA is getting installed in our system now and with the power of editing the installation is done. Ok open IntelliJ IDEA and if you have downloaded the ultimate edition click on evaluate for free to enjoy a 30 day trial period. When you click on create new project you can see that you can create a different type of projects. Now let's go to the search.maven.org and search for Rx Java and click on the io.reactivex.rxjava2 that you can see here not the io.reactivex which is the rxjava1 and there you can select any option from a ton of options available to set up rxjava from the ton of options we are specifically interested on the gradle dsl method gradle is a build tool based on groovy it's not necessary to have an understanding of Gradle and Groovy to proceed the course but if you want to learn I'll try to put some links in the description of this video. So let's get back to the IntelliJ IDEA and click on the create a new project and select Gradle in additional libraries and frameworks. Select Java and Groovy and next click next. Keep the group ID and artifact ID as 1.0 hit next. Here check the box auto import and keep everything as default. Hit next. Let's give a project name of first project and finish. Let's just wait until it downloads the Gradle and Groovy for the first time. And do make sure that you have an internet connection. When the download and indexing are complete, you can see these directories have been created automatically. Ok now we are going to create a Java class named main. Let's check whether the project has been set up successfully or not. Before that, let me increase the font size for you. Let's try writing the mighty hello world program first and run. Ok the project is uh, set up successfully. Now go back to the maven repository page and copy the grill dependency for rx java and paste it on dependencies block of this build.gradle files. Well, uh, wait till it downloads all the dependency for Rx Java. Follow me for now because I'm going to explain each and everything in details.
Here we are using some numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is static and using Rx Java we are going to consume each and every item as they are in motion. Ok, let's subscribe and print each and every item that we consume. I know it doesn't make sense for you right now, but please just bear with me. I'll be explaining each and everything in detail. You may see that I'm using Java 8 constructs in here, like method reference, which makes the code much more cleaner. Let's run this and you can see that it prints 1 to 5 one by one. So let me show you how this example looks like using the ugly anonymous class. So let's pass the instance of the consumer in here which give each and every item one by one so we can print it. Now we can convert this anonymous class to lambda and as the return type and the method parameter matches so we can use method reference in here. If you, under, if you don't understand any of this, I'll put some links in the description below so you can check them out. Or if you want me to make a separate video on this specific topic of Java 8 features that is kinda necessary to learn Rx Java then comment below or any of my social handles because at the end of the day we want to see some code which is clean, right? Okay guys, I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, just ask me on the comments below or my Facebook, Instagram or Twitter handles. And if you have liked the video, don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss when I upload a video every Sunday. It's me too here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.